Welcome back to Primetime News. And special welcome to folks at OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, there's a major shakeup coming in the regional financial sector with the Sagicor Financial Corporation to be acquired by a Canadian-based investment company. The announcement came early this morning from Sagicor with the regional financial giant saying it reached an agreement for its shares to be acquired by Toronto-based Alignvest. Sajikor insists the deal will not lead to any major change in its operation and pointed out that if regulators allow the acquisition to go ahead, the transaction will be completed in 2020. TVJ's Andrew Lady sat down with the Chief Operating Officer of Sajikor Group to get some answers and now reports. Sajikor is calling it a merger, the likes of which will see all of its 306 million shares being acquired by Canadian-based company Alignvest. Sajikor's chief operating officer Ravi Rambaran says the company is simply going where the money is. You have two companies, one only with cash and one with Sajikor where we have cash and other assets and we have a customer base and we have products and we bring them together just by virtue of bringing those two companies together that combined entity is stronger. So that a stronger entity provides greater protection to clients. It's a major shift for Sagicor as we know it, but the company is reporting that there won't be any fundamental changes. When we look at the new governance in terms of board representation, you will see there will be continuing directors from Sagicor and there'll be new directors from Alignvest. Okay, so th this is not an issue of where there is a dominant shareholder in Alignvest taking over Sajiko. Absolutely. In fact, nowhere will you see the word takeover. Nowhere will you see such a word at all because it is simply not a takeover. He said the minority shareholders won't be left behind. The listed entity in Toronto will take their cash, make an offer to the shareholders of Sajgo. So the first 10,000 shares that Sajgo shareholders have will be eligible for cash at $1.75 US. And the remaining shares will be converted into what we call Alignvest shares. But because Alignvest by itself has no operations, there will be just one new entity when that transaction is done. And that one new entity shall be Sagicor. To complete the deal, Sagicor will delist from the stock exchanges it's listed on here in the Caribbean and will list as a new entity on the Toronto Stock Exchange. The deal is expected to be completed by 2020. In a separate agreement, Sagicor also announced that it will acquire Scotia's life insurance company in Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago. That deal includes a provision for Scotia to continue selling its insurance products on behalf of Sagicor for the next 20 years. Andrew Laidley. TVJ News.